Hello everybody, welcome to today's episode of House of Talisha. I am Isabel Talisha Swaj. You probably recognize this statue of Rainer Maria Rilke because we were filming it and we shot here an episode on Rhonda a few weeks ago when we came here for the first time. Well, it's the second time we are here in Ronda. We have been doing the tour of the Pueblos Blancos, another episode for you to check out on House of Talisha. And we decided to revisit Ronda. So today's episode is Ronda Revisited. And we are starting here with poet Rainer Maria Rilke, an Austrian poet, because he fell in love with Ronda and he wrote his Spanish trilogy here. And I have a quote by Rilke, who was Austrian, so he spoke German, and he said about his love for Rhonda. Ich habe überall die Traumstadt gesucht und ich glaube, ich habe sie gefunden. I have searched everywhere for my dream town, my dream city, and I think I have found it, and he found it here in Rhonda. So let's go on a revisitation, on a new visit of Rhonda. The fascination with Rhonda is probably the seduction of the abyss because we are perched so high above and it is so vertical all the way down. As you know, I suffer from heights, I suffer from vertigo and the seduction is this. I am back at this so vertically aligned place, confronting my fears and shooting a second episode on a city such as Rhonda. I'm on a balcony that seems to be floating over the canyon. The wall of the cliff is there. So I'm kind of two meters, one and a half meters already into the canyon. And I hope this doesn't fall. Otherwise, tomorrow's newspapers, blonde filming House of Talisha is found squashed at the end of the, at the bottom of the cliff. Well, I'm here on this edge of the cliff because Ronda reminds me of a Portuguese, a early Portuguese, an early Portuguese hero called Viriatos. Viriatos was the leader of the Lusitanian tribes and the Lusitanian tribes gave rise to the Portuguese, or so we are told, so we are the heirs of the Lusitanians. They were originally Celtic, so they are Celtic tribes that lived in the Iberian Peninsula in what is today Portugal and further inland, a little bit into Spain until Zamora, more or less. But here in Ronda, there was a battle against the Romans because Viriatus lived in the second century AD and he fought the Roman legions that tried to invade the Iberian Peninsula. And here in the canyons of Ronda in the year 147, his armies, the armies of Viriato, fought a battle against the Roman legions and they won. They wouldn't end uh, the war as victors because the Iberian Peninsula was invaded and conquered by the Romans and became a Roman province in the end. But anyway, Viriato was one of those leaders, one of those heroes in the way of the Roman legions. And here he had a winning victory.
If you remember the episode when we talk about Rhonda, we talked about Rainer Maria Rilke's love affair with Rhonda, and we also talked about someone else who fell victim of the charm of Rhonda, Ernest Hemingway. There is a plaque here in the Paseo Blas Infante, which commemorates the allure and the seduction that Rhonda exerted on Ernest Hemingway. If you know, Ernest Hemingway loved bullfighting and all those traditions. And so he was an aficionado of Rhonda because Rhonda is also known amongst the bullfighting culture as a place where you have once a year one particular bullfight and the number of people come here to see the goyescas which are the women dressed in the apparel that go into the uh, arenas and so in this plaque there is a writing about why Ernest Hemingway loved Ronda so much and he said it says Aspiraba a escribir como se torea en Ronda. So he wanted to write as you champion the bulls here in Ronda in a sober style, simple, classic, and yet tragic. So Ronda and all the creative minds that have been charmed by it and Ernest Hemingway amongst them. Orson Welles was another victim of the charms of Rhonda. Charms that I am now understanding, that I am assimilating because it is such a wonderful, magnetic, alluring place. Orson Welles famously said that a man does not belong to the place where he was born, but to the place where he decided, where he decides to die in. Well, Orson Welles, the director of Citizen Kane, if you remember, did not die here in Ronda. But two years after his death, so in 1987, his ashes were brought back to Ronda, were brought to Ronda from California. Here on this plaque in Paseo Blas Infante, you can read that his ashes are somewhere here, but it's not true. They have been buried five kilometers far from here at a private estate in a private farm. So another creative mind who fell in love with Rhonda and who decided to be here forever. And here we are back at the reason why Rhonda is so famous and so intensely loved by people who come here. The Puente Nuevo, the new bridge, this magnificent feat of architecture uniting new Rhonda, where we are right now, to old Rhonda on the other side of this impressive abyss, this chasm, which is united by this bridge. If you have seen the episode when we talk about Rhonda in more detail, you will know that there are other bridges connecting both sides of Rhonda and uniting the abyss. However, this is the most monumental one. This is absolutely astonishing and I do not cease to be amazed by how incredible this Puente Nuevo is.
there is more to Rhonda than the three bridges that we mentioned on the episode where we talked in more detail about the Puente Nuevo, Puente Viejo and Puente Arabe. We are at the Casco Histórico, the historic center of Ronda. To my left, the uh, Ayuntamiento, which is the town hall, city hall. And here to my left and behind me, Colegiata Santa Maria Mayor. So a place where nuns were trained. And this is the historic heart of Ronda. Very impressive as well. Even the old bridge is majestic and I cannot imagine what it was like to build this bridge so long ago. If the Puente Nuevo, the new bridge, is a feat of architecture, that is 18th century, imagine that bridge being built somewhere in the Middle Ages. It's impressive, nonetheless. We are on the Puente Arabe, the Arabic bridge, the oldest of those three majestic bridges uniting this abyss, this chasm in Ronda, El Tajo. Behind me, the Puente Viejo, the old bridge. If you recall the first episode that we shot here in Ronda, that is where we filmed the closing scene of that episode. Interesting. Still cross a bridge dating back to the Arab period of occupation in the Iberian Peninsula. The Arabs, the Arabic presence started in the 8th century AD and went to the 16th century with the reconquest of Granada. Well, it's time to say goodbye to Ronda time to close this episode with this fascination of this beautiful city that has seduced Reiner Maria Rilke, Ernest Hemingway, Orson Welles and one Isabel Talisha Suarez that broadcasts to you from this YouTube channel House of Talisha. If you like these sorts of contents, you can subscribe to the channel, leave comments below and of course you know where to find me because I will be waiting for you.